she's very caring, very caring person. She has a good heart, very good heart. And she's very family oriented. So, can't beat that. She's a great mother. Father's Day has come. We, first day forever. I know you wanted this for a long time. Now it's finally happening. Just love you. Just can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you, baby. I love that he's very, very supportive of me. Anything that I do, um, he is always my biggest supporter, cheering me on, um, and just making me feel that I can do anything in life. I love you so much, and I want to thank you for always being that rock um, that I need, my very best friend, and a safe place where I can be completely myself. to God that the two of you have been brought together in this holy matrimony. Chase, do you take Kiana as your lawful wedded wife to love and to cherish in sickness and in health till death do you part so long as you both shall live? Kiana, do you take Chase as your lawful wedded husband to live together after God's holy ordinance in sickness and in health for richer and for poor till death do you part? Now there'll come a time when others will want to give you advice about your marriage, uh, in particular parents. They, <laughs> parents are good at giving advice. Uh, and they will give you advice. Um, take the advice. Listen to what they have to say. Don't frown. Just listen. And then when they have finished giving their advice, go home to your home. <laughs> Get inside your home. <laughs> close the door. And forget everything they said. This marriage is about you and you. To this audience, do you promise to pray for them and see to it that their marriage, not only today but forevermore, will be fruitful and loving and kind to give them sound advice? Do you promise? Yes. Amen. Chase, I want you to repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. In the name of the Father, of his Son, and of his Holy Spirit, amen. That's the last time that finger will be empty. Hold, hold hand. Say to Chase, Chase with this ring, I thee wed. In the name of the Father, and of his Son, and of his Holy Spirit, amen.
those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. You may kiss your bride, Jesus. All right, all right, all right, all right. May God bless you. May God bless your family with light that shines brightly over your marriage, relationships, children, finances, goals, and dreams. Forever shall you be blessed with the amber, ever-present light of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Reginald and Pamela Stamps. Lift your hands in this Chasing Kiana, we choose green, the color of life, balance, renewal, and harmony. Green represents all things new and living. Green symbolizes fertility, which we can see here with Caden. Feel free to be fruitful and grow your family. With marriage comes changes, some wanted, some needed. Remember, green represents growth about your works and good energy to help you navigate through those because changes. Green is the color for finances and money, which will we pray will bring you prosperity. Live a balanced household in which money helps maintain, not divide. G represents God and growth. R represents renewal and respect. E enhances your vision. E represents endurance. N to re represent newness. Enjoy the journey. Make it work. I choose pink for the beauty and softness of a beautiful flower that blossom in your marriage. The color pink represents politeness, sensitivity, and tenderness, which are necessary to keep your marriage strong. May God bless you and keep you always. Remember to stop long enough to smell the flowers and take the beauty of them. Minnie Dixon, the grandmother. We choose purple, which represents royalty which you are both descendants of royal blood. First of all, you have to keep God the centerpiece of your marriage. If you treat her like a queen, she is, and she treats you like the king that you are, you too can come overcome any obstacles that come your way. Thomas and Alice Tapley, parents. I choose red for the blood of Jesus that I plead to cover your marriage and the blood which nothing and no one can come against. Keep God first in all that you do and may he cover you completely with his everlasting blood for the life he has given you. Melrose Road, Godmother. We choose indigo, which brings intuition and immediate un understanding with conscious, conscious reasoning, wisdom. May you gain experience, knowledge, and good judgment. May your intellectual intelligence align with your emotional intelligence to keep you safe from harm. And may you develop a charisma that those who know you will want to emulate. Raymond and Cindy Stamp, who weren't able to make it today, they're the grandparents. We choose yellow, which represents happiness that you can have in your marriage if you keep God first. Dale and Luella Coleman, grandparents. Insomuch as it has pleased Almighty God to join together this man and this woman, I again present you husband and wife. You can kiss her again if you want to. If you will turn to the audience, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Chase Tapley. People say lovers come. People say lovers go. But what do they know? I 
have never been so much in love before. you since you were a little girl and you got on my last nerve with your tattling little self you used to tell me that if I cleaned your room you wouldn't tell on me and then you would still snitch but I got over it and we grew very close and I love you very much and I am honored and blessed to be here and watch you grow and become a beautiful wife, as you are a beautiful mother. And Chase, I've been here the whole time, you know. Um, Side eye. And um, I'm very happy that you guys decided to take this step. And I wish you guys nothing but the best. And I know that you guys will make me another, you know, niece or nephew. (laughs) <laughs> you know, let's just put that in the air now. I know that you guys will make me another beautiful niece or nephew that I would love. Okay, we'll wait about a year and a half. That's fine. But anyways, I love both of you guys. You know, Kiana put brother in my phone, you know. But now I can really call you brother. And it's not forced from Kiana. 
So welcome into our family. And I cannot wait to see how many years you guys last. So good luck. <laughs> You're supposed to stay forever. I'm just saying. I'm not going to be here all my life. I don't want to live forever. Ladies and gentlemen, up next. Ladies and gentlemen, up next. Ladies and gentlemen, up next, the best man, Mr. Chad. Mr. Chad. As your big brother, I'm proud of you. Uh, the man you have become. I've watched you grow from a little boy to a grown man. You know what I'm saying? You've been an excellent brother to me an excellent role model to me. Without you, I will be nothing. You know what I'm saying? You're the world to me, bro. And you've been an amazing father to my nephew, Caden. I never thought in a lifetime that you would be a father. Ever. Because I was the baby maker, but, but <laughs> anywho, at the end of the day, though, with all that being said, bro, you are my heart, you are my partner, and I am glad and I'm honored to be your big brother, Kiana. <laughs> I don't, I've known you since freshman year of college. You, you've always called me your brother. And I'm glad to be your older brother, big brother, and a role model to you. You've been an excellent support system for my brother. Through college, through everything, through the ups and downs. And I love y'all both to death. And I just want to welcome you to the family, welcome you as my sister. If my brother gets out of line, you know my number. <laughs> Call me. I'll put him in line. And also, Kian, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being a great mother to, to Kata, my nephew, and a great wife, fiance, wife now, to my brother. Because without you, my brother wouldn't be here today. And I love y'all both. So everybody, can you guys put your glasses for me up? And this is to the Kiana and Chase for eternal life together as a husband and wife. I just want to say, Chase, I am so proud of you. Um, from the time you were a little boy, I'm, you know, everybody that's known you from the time you were a little boy is like, is that Chase out there dancing? Because Chase has always been quiet, reserved. Chad has always been the one that was kind of like the active one. But Chad, Chad was, uh, Chase was always quiet. But I am so proud of the man that you have become. And you couldn't have picked a better mate for yourself. And I just want to, what I want to say to Kiana, when the first time we stepped on San Diego State campus your freshman year, and Kiana was, came to your practice, and both of them were all kind of like Google eyes at each other. And I'm like, I'm like, and I'll let Tommy tell the other part of the story, but we were like, who is this girl coming over here? Of course, me. Who is this girl coming over here looking at my baby? Now, he's 6'3", six, he's six but it's like, who is this girl coming over here looking at my baby? But it was Kiana, and the first day I met her, uh, I knew that she was someone special. And Chase has always told me, Mom, if I ever marry, it's going to be Kiana. And so today is that day. And, I, and what Ch Chad was saying, you guys are excellent parents to, to Kaden, to our grandson. Couldn't have asked for better parents. And we just are so proud of this day. And welcome to the family. Now I have two daughters. I have one daughter and another daughter. I was blessed with two sons, but now I have two daughters. Good evening. Um, first of all, I just want to say congratulations to Kiana and Chase. You make a lovely couple. Love you both. 
and I don't, I don't look at TV a lot, but some of you may look at a show. I think it's called uh, How I Met Your Mother or something like that. Well, I'm going to tell you how I met my future daughter-in-law. First of all, I thought she looked like Janet Jackson. So, true, true story. And he, the, the coach is in the house tonight, Coach Fisher. Normally, most coaches do not allow you to come to a basketball practice. But I believe it was in the fall. It was one of those seasonal practices that Alice just told you. Um, Kiana walks in with a friend of hers, and I notice that she is somewhat smitten with my son. And I'm like, he needs to be focused about school and playing basketball. And she just kept looking at him, and she had this smile on her face. So there was a gentleman standing behind me with some glasses on. And I said, who is she? She had her gear on. She appeared to be like she could play basketball. I wasn't sure. <laughs> and uh, I said, who is she? Can she play? And the gentleman behind me said, yeah, she can play. And I said, you know her? He said, yeah, that's my daughter. So that's how <laughs> I met. Congratulations. First of all, I just want to thank every, each and one of you for being here. Um, all of you hold a special place in our heart and also Chase and Kiana's heart. And we're honored to be here as well. Well, when, I, when Kiana first met Chase, she kept talking about, oh, mom, me and Chase are hanging out, me and Chase, me and Chase. And I'm like, who is this Chase? Okay. So I had an investigator. Coach, why were you at? See, Coach Y was not just a coach. She was a second mom and an investigator. So I sent Coach Y, I said, Coach Y, who is Chase? She said, what is his last name? I said, I don't know. But you gotta find out. I think he plays, he, I know he plays basketball because she said he plays basketball. Coach Y went down the roster, she found him. And she came back, she called me, she said, don't worry, Miss Stamp, Chase is a good guy, he's good. <laughs> so I met Chase, and I gave Chase what I would consider a set of guidelines for dating my daughter. Now, for the most part, Chase stuck to every one of those guidelines. Now, there was one guideline, where's Kaden? Hi, baby. There was one guideline that Chase and Kiana did not follow. But thank you both, because I wasn't expecting to be a grandmother, but I'm very honored to be one. You have given me a beautiful blessing in my grandson, and you are both a beautiful couple. Coach Fisher also, where's Coach Fisher? Coach Fisher helped recruit my daughter to San Diego State. I tried to get her to go to Boston, but Coach Marv, where's Coach Marv? Okay, Coach Marv and Reggie told her it would be freezing in Boston. So Coach Fisher and Coach Y recruited her to San Diego State, and that is where she was supposed to be. That was her destiny, because look at her now and look who she's with. Chase, I'm honored. You are, like my mother says, there are no in-laws and outlaws in this family. You are my son, Kiana, Alice, and Tommy have gained a daughter today. Wesley and Lynette, you've also gained a daughter. And Kiana, you got plenty of sisters over here at this table. <laughs> So now you have as many sisters to deal with as I do. <laughs> and I just, I love you both. And God bless you. And I have no doubt of what kind of wife and husband you will be to each other because you both are beautiful people. You're God-fearing people. And you're wonderful people. All right, y'all. I got to do this first. <laughs> the, 
this is your fault. <laughs> if you would have had closed doors practices, this would not have happened. <laughs> At least not yet, but that's okay. I'd like to say thank you to Coach Fisher for making sure that we came that way. Because when he came up there looking at a couple of guys at the uh, Paris High School, he also noticed her and uh, kind of stuck that word out there. And he passed that word on to Coach Y, who traveled and watched us across the United States play ball, and watched her play ball. And, and I knew she wanted there, because no sooner than we tried to find a place to park, Coach Y was running up the uh, parking, the, um, parking stall there. Here I am, you know, we can't even find a place to park. We're going to get a ticket. That's okay, though. I would like to say thank you to Chase for not visiting the Arctic Circle before today. Meaning cold feet. That's okay. <laughs> okay, thank, 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 thank you. Now you're stuck in there. You hung in there. Arctic Circle. Yeah, it's cold up there. Don't you know that? <laughs> um, but I would like to say that Chase is a good gentleman. He's a fine young fellow. I don't talk to him much because we kind of like passing like this. You know, he works one shift, I work another. But as long as I see him get up and go to work, he's all right with me. <laughs> That's the main thing. He get up and go to work. He gets on time, too. I ain't never seen nobody leave for work four hours early. I'm like, man, I, I thought maybe doing overtime or something. But, but he gets there and he gets on time. He believes in holding his job, holding down his force for his family. And I appreciate that. Because what they say, hard work brings good results. And that's what we want to appreciate from your hard work and good results. Kiana, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> this is now Chase. No, I appreciate you, sweetie. I'm not going to hold everybody up. Psych. Give me a kiss. <laughs> mm, that's my baby girl. This is my young man here. I appreciate you all. I appreciate you all for coming. Enjoy nice round time. of applause for Father of the Bride. So I just want to say thank you, guys, each and every one of you guys for coming out and supporting on our big day. Um, I couldn't see the day any better. Probably be the best day of my life, as I can already tell, with my friends I really love, family support that I really love, and the backbone that I have. And I just can't picture this day any better. I mean, we met in San Diego, so we get married in San Diego. Have a, our baby is born in San Diego, so <laughs> it, I felt it was just right, and I'm just glad we have the people here that really are supportive and been with us since day one. And I just want to thank my parents for being the advice that I needed when I was down. God, parents, and everybody that's been a part of it, I also want to thank Mr. and Mrs. Stamps for what they've done for me, for, well, I can say mom, okay, you say mom and dad, the other set of parents that I have that's been very supportive and letting me raise my son. So, I mean, I can't really explain what you guys done for me. Like, I really appreciate it. Honestly, I mean, your parents, you guys are just like my parents. I mean, I guess I saw I fall in, fell in love with her. I saw my parents and you. Very loving. can't express the feeling I have from both of you guys. It just stamps you, teaching me things I ain't I have known, being a man. I mean, any other, come on, any other situation, I already know. But, I mean, it just seems like you really care. And Miss Pam, I mean, your heart is so big. I mean, you want to please everybody, make sure everybody's okay but herself. And I just appreciate that. And I... 
<laughs> and like I see that in my mom, my mom's the same way. And I just want to say I love you, mom. I mean, anything I ever needed from a little boy, you just raised me to be who I am today. Like, <laughs> Katie, you laughing? <laughs> like, my mom, sometimes, but my mom, um, she's a strong woman, very strong woman, and that's who me and Chad. That's why we're so strong-minded. At the end of the day, I mean, she pushed us. Nah, let me get to you, man. Let me start. Let me get to you. But that's like us, and us, uh, and it's just. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too long. <laughs> But it's just, she's just a strong, very independent woman, and I just love you for that, Mom. And thank you for just being there when I needed the most, and I just love you. And Dad, can't ask for a better dad. I mean, you've always put nuggets in my head when I've been growing up, telling me little quotes here and there. I didn't know at then, but now I know. You said, you know who you're going to fall in love with, right? You're going to fall in love with a woman that's just like your mom. I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> And true enough to behold, I fell in love with her. It's just like my, to me, in my opinion, it's just like my mom. Just like my mom. Think like my mama. Got to have the last word like my mama. <laughs> very, very blunt. Let her know what she's thinking. If she doesn't like something, she's going to tell you. She's not going to sugarcoat it. But I know from the deep that she loves me to death, and that's just I know Kiana loves me to death. So I just thank God, and I thank everything for the grandparents I have for my child. I mean, it's the best. You have set, two set up over bearing parents. I mean, I grew up with a lot of people. They didn't have that, didn't have the structure, but it's just, I just love it, and I just love all the support from my God sisters, my God parents, coaches, cousins, uncles, people I've grown up with. Um, God, sisters, God, brothers, it's just everybody. And so, and Chad, I mean, I was very surprised in that speech, my guy. <laughs> but, no, you did that. I got to say, my brother, been my biggest fan, couldn't do it without him. I'm so glad I got these guys next to me, Mike, John, Seth, who, I mean, it's been day one. And, um, you yeah, know, you're here. So... Yeah, man, I, I'm, we don't know, man. So I just want to say thank you again. Sorry for being long-winded. Got emotional. So I just want to say thank you again. And, babe, I love you. So I want to thank everybody for coming out as well. Um, I gained a mom and a dad and a mom and a dad <laughs> and two sisters, actually three sisters and a brother, um, four, sorry. <laughs> Four sisters and a brother, and I'm so honored to be a part of this family. Um, I chose a song today, and I know everyone probably thought, why is she coming out to this song, uh, Change Me? Um, and when I decided to do this song, um, I wanted God to be a part of our marriage from the jump. I don't want to cry, but... Um, We all have been through a lot in life, and I know that with God, you can get through anything. So for me, I wanted him to empty both of us of everything that may be pride, whatever it is. Empty me of me so I could be filled of him. So for me, change me was I'm coming into a new woman to be the best wife that I can to Chase, the best mother that I can to Caden, the best daughter that I can to my new parents that I get joined into their family and my mom and dad. I thank every single person here who has made this man the man that he is, whether it's a coach, whether it's mother, father, brother, friend. This is my best friend and he is an amazing person that supports me and I thank each and every one of you who has made this man into the man that I can call my husband. <laughs> For the rest of my life and the father of my son, 
and one day uh, more children. Um, I also want to. <laughs> And also, I have to thank the people who have shaped me into the woman that I have become. I know I'm a little crazy and not have, all, have not always listened, but I definitely have to thank my mom and dad. I have to thank my mom and dad for, number one, teaching me the love of God and giving me that foundation to be able to, when things get hard, to pray. So I know how to pray for my husband, pray for my family. Number two, I wanna thank my mom for teaching me how to be a strong, not to offend anybody, but a strong black woman, and to know how to stand on two feet for my family. I wanna thank my dad for giving me all the lessons and drills, okay. <laughs> all the lessons and riddles and rhymes and everything else. <laughs> But I want to thank you, even though I may have seemed hard-headed, I listened, and I want to thank you, because I chose a man, like Chase said, that reminds him of his mother. I chose a man that reminds me of my father, who's my mom's best friend, who can have fun with her husband, and that's what I wanted in my life. I thank each and every person who has shaped me as a woman, Miss Margaret, for all the bedtime stories that you told me, for giving me that laughter and love. Miss Audrey and Mr. Wardell for being my parents, second parents, and talking to me, giving me lectures as well, almost whooping me. But you know, thank you, <laughs> thank you. And then Coach Marv, he wasn't able to make it here today, but I wanna thank him as well for being my second dad and Coach Kathy. Um, but thank you, everyone. I won't talk anymore. I thank everyone, Coach Y, for crying. I don't know a coach. I have to say this before I end. Um, and I went, we both went through some things in college. And, you know, coaches, they recruit you, and they want you to play for them. But I'll say this. Coach Y was more than just a coach to me. Any coach who will cry over you for getting in trouble <laughs> is a coach. <laughs> <laughs> is a coach who loves you. So I want to thank you, Coach Y, Coach Fisher, for both of us recruiting both of us and bringing us together. Um, and the last, very last thing that I will say is that I thank my family and all of my friends for coming today. And I ask that each and every one of you continue to pray for us and we will continue to keep God first in our marriage and in our lives. And we love each and every one of you. I smile and I say, oh, this is getting personal, personal, personal. Let's stay for a while and play. Girl, let's make this a moment. Oh.